<laughs> hey everybody, uh, I am Joshua Dysart, and I have been given the ice bucket challenge by a very, very, very dear friend of mine who's super lovely and who I adore, um, and I'm not going to do it. Uh, but I am going to do something super crazy to get your attention, um, because I guess that's part of what this is all about. But first I ask that you not skip ahead and that you listen to what I have to say. Almost all my friends have participated in this, and um, and it's amazing. Uh, it's quite a success for the ALS Association. In fact, the ALS Association has raised $100 million in the last month, 3,500% more than they raised uh, in the same time period last year. Uh, I mean, which is, uh, from a nonprofit point of view, is extraordinary. Also, um, the disease is absolutely terrifying. It breaks you down, it makes you a prisoner in your own body. Um, you, you become dependent on machines to live. It's absolutely, absolutely terrible. Uh, and the ALS Association is an extremely respected charity. And also, I want to say um, that research helps more than what they're researching. As we know, you know, um, when you begin to research something, everything branches off, and, and it really helps future generations of all kinds and all, all sorts of diseases. Having said that, I want to stress again that $100 million in a month is a tremendous success for any non-profit. ALS affects about 12,000 Americans currently. And that means there's very little money uh, from pharmaceutical companies to do R&D, to spend billions of dollars on R&D. And that's another reason to really take ALS seriously. But in light of this success, I'd like to talk about something called funding cannibalism. A uh, hundred million dollars doesn't appear out of nowhere, and research studies have suggested that 50 cents out of every dollar that gets donated to any donation would normally be donated anyway by the donator or the Samaritan. And again, I want to stress that, you know, you, can, you should give to whatever your heart tells you to give to. You should, um, uh, ALS is a terrible disease, um, but... If 50 million is being drained out of other charities, uh, then perhaps the 100 million for this month is successful enough a program. And maybe we can start asking very difficult questions about what we should really be funding. You know, I question that anyone who pours a bucket of water over their head um, has really thought about what is the best way to change the world and what's the most efficient use of their money you know, I feel like they're just donating to ALS because of the marketing nature of this this uh, this meme and not because they feel like that's the best use of their money. And I think that's a problematic way to look at nonprofits. And we shouldn't reward nonprofits because of their marketing strategies. We should reward nonprofits because we feel that they're doing enough to change the world. And if you think the ALS Foundation is, that's fantastic. And they're certainly doing what they can with what they have. But there are diseases that affect more people that harm a greater extent of the global population and that can be treated with less of a cost. And that makes, that makes it a very difficult thing to talk about because that means some charities could be more effective than others. You know, and that's a conversation we have to have when one charity makes $100 million in a month. Is it as effective as treating malaria? You know, there are some ways of, of spending money um, that simply help to a greater extent. $50,000 saves 500 children's lives from malaria all over the planet. Generally speaking, when you donate internationally instead of domestically, you have 100 times, at the very least, the impact on a person's life. And so all I like to say, the whole purpose for this video, is that ALS is terrible and the ALS Association is good. And they've raised a hundred million dollars in one month. And that's awesome. But now maybe, maybe look into your heart and see what else needs help. Where else can I go? Maybe pouring a bucket of water on my head isn't really what's important. 
Maybe I should just give the money to the cause that seems really valuable to me. So, so maybe give that some thought before you challenge other people to put a bucket on their head. And, uh, and I live in California where we're having a tremendous drought right now. And you know, I, I know it doesn't seem like a bucket of water makes a big difference, but, but a lot of people are doing it. And so I'm going to do something now as a promise for this video. I'm not going to waste fresh water today. I'm going to do something else. Thanks for sticking around for the seven minutes it took me to explain this laborious idea of why the ice bucket challenge should probably come to an end. Uh, here we go. I'm going to do something really screwed up. Hang on. First, I'm going to donate to the Southern Poverty Law Center. Let's give $25 to the... No, we'll give... Let's give $50 to the Southern Poverty Law Center. There we go. Donation to the Southern Poverty Law Center. Fighting hate, teaching tolerance, seeking justice. Um, and now, so that was my domestic charity I wanted to give to. So let's now give to an international charity where we know our money goes so much further. Doctors Without Borders is in Iraq. They're in Syria. They're dealing with the Ebola crisis. They're in the Central African Republic. $50 donation. Cool. There we go. I even get a little video. Look at that. Crazy, right? Actually giving money. Um, so yeah, it's not crazy enough for you, is it? Okay, in the spirit of the ice bucket challenge, we'll do something else. Fresh drinking water, you know, I mean, clean water, not to be wasted. A mason jar. So I can't really show you what I'm about to do, but you just gotta believe that it's happening. <laughs> I mean, it's real. It's real, I don't know how else to do it without like, you know, showing something that Facebook would cut out. Ah, oh, yeah, feels good, but here, let me just show you what we've got here. <laughs> I obviously uh, have not hydrated enough, that is terrible. Definitely not fresh water in the middle of a California drought. You can see the heat coming off, and that is a lot of urine, I guess. Um, I'm not in the best shape, but I like the shirts. So we're not gonna get messed up. Okay, here we go. To raise awareness for all charities, for whatever you want to give to, however you think to change the world. Oh God, it smells awful. <laughs> cool. Give some money to something. Uh, I'm gonna take a shower now. Thanks.